Um, okay, well, so now we will officially begin. And uh, thanks for that heads up, Jane. All right, so we have the minutes to the January 3rd meeting. And one of the things we, we uh, Pat and I went back and forth on, we, uh, maybe I'm just getting confused, but um, so we send the minutes out to everyone, everyone reviews them and then contacts Pat to see if they were accurate or anything needed to be um, added, whatever. So um, do, is that how we did it in the past? No. No, I think we brought the minutes to the meeting and they were reviewed at the meeting. So the question yep. was, do the minutes get posted with the edits after we review them or do they get posted with the agenda? On the on the Hadley website before they're reviewed by the committee. No, they don't get posted until they are approved by the committee. Okay. Okay. Great. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say cause that's how we do it on our other meeting. Yeah, Wayne, go ahead. I'm a little concerned that the minutes to this meeting are not posted, and I'm, not that anybody's looking, but that they're not posted until a month later, and in this case, two months later. Uh, Seems like we could circulate the minutes by email and approve or not approve so they could be posted on the website in time for people to see what we just did. I don't yeah. know if that makes any difference to anybody at all, but just. So you could you could circulate them, but you can't take the actual vote without having a posted meeting to vote on the minutes. You could circulate oh. them, make all the corrections, post them, and then approve them at your next meeting. But wow. I think that it's easier just, I mean, there's no reason Pat can't post them or whoever's doing the website as soon as today's meeting's over. So it would and really then open post, And then post corrections if there are any later. So no, you just correct the minutes and that's how they are accepted. So if you say so-and-so wasn't there or I moved that motion not, so and so, whatever the corrections are, they get made and then they are approved. So, because oh. we meet once a month, Wayne, that means yes, you won't see them posted on the web until the next meeting, which is a month yeah. later. Right. Yes. However, because it's being recorded, anybody can go on Hadley Media and watch the meeting. That's right. That's right. Okay. So if somebody's really interested, they can find it. Yes. Or they'll call you. <laughs> sure Wouldn't that be wonderful? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, interested. so then that means we need to have a look at these minutes right now. Uh, so um, we had uh, the welcome and call to order. Um, and the clerk's report, we, we reviewed the minutes of the meeting on November 1st. And we made some corrections. Um, Mr. Burns, his spelling, last names uh, at uh, Hopkins Academy. Uh, we approved the minutes. Okay, Hopkins report, old business. Um, I don't know, should I be reading this? I mean, do people want me to read it in case they don't have it? We can all read it. I've got it. We'll take a few minutes. Looks good. Okay. Yes. Is a motion to approve? Uh, no, Wayne, do you want to? Um, has everyone had a chance to look at them? Yep. Okay. Go ahead, Wayne. I move that we accept the minutes. Okay, is there a second? Second. Thank you. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Okay. Uh, the 
Any opposed? Yeah, oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> Any opposed? Nope. Okay, motion passed. We have approved the minutes to the January 3rd meeting. All right, and um, we can, uh, I, I actually, I'm going to kind of uh, jump around here a little bit, um, but, you know, Pat always lets us know uh, what our, um, our action items are on the minutes, and that's a great thing. Thank you, Pat. Um, so Wayne suggested that we send the thank you note to Mr. Burns and his students and Kayla and Sarah offered to draft a letter of appreciation with a copy to go to the principal and the superintendent. Do you want to update us on that? Yep, that got written and it went out and it was one of the attachments to today. Uh, well, it's not today's email, but the email for today's meeting. Um, yeah, I think we, we wanted to make sure that it was, you know, appreciating not just what he did for that event, but that he's that kind of teacher mm. that doesn't flinch away from these difficult and complicated topics. Right. So that okay. And I definitely appreciate Kayla's ability to take my sort of make sure it says this and this and this and turn those into real sentences. <laughs> yeah, good, good, good. No, nope, very good. And it's a was a great letter. So thank you guys for that. Um, and I like the letterhead and the and the uh, signature footing. It looks great. Yeah. Yeah, it's just beautiful. Well done. Okay. Um, let's see. I did send a, um, I did follow up with Mr. Burns um, and I did post it, uh, the link uh, to the, um, you know, Indigenous Peoples Day uh, on our website. So that was taken care of. Um, and I know Kayla was going to ask, um, Jane, for advice about copying the select board on the letter to Mr. Burns, and I don't know if that's something, Jane, you want to speak to right now? Sound. Sound, Jane. You're not, you're not on. You're, you're muted. Jane, you're muted. Right, that's because there's a lot of background noise here. You don't need. Um, I, I don't remember speaking to Kayla. That doesn't mean I didn't. Um, or she emailed me and I didn't see it, but I think so, it never hurts to copy the select board. And Especially. you can do that by sending it to the, the town administrator and saying, please forward this to the select board. This is what the committee is doing. Okay. Seems only right since we serve at their pleasure. Margaret, you're not, you're muted. Duh, I'm the host. Uh, okay, so um, anyway, uh, that was the uh, Hopkins report. And uh, I've asked Pat if she would like to start us off on the next item, which is the survey committee report. Margaret, can you share that document with the group? Uh, yeah, let me... Um... This is just the final, what we're gonna share is the final document that included all your suggestions. Um, and basically ask, where do you think we should go from here? What we, what we have is a summary of our work as a group. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so Margaret and I would like to know what the- Okay. What It'll take me a second to pull this up. I've got to go get that. Could probably also make Patricia a co host. And then she could share it. I'm sorry, uh, make what? If you wanted to make 
Pat a co-host and she could share it. And... I, I don't think I can because Kayla has made me a co-host. Oh, got it, got it. Um, so you click uh, on your screen share on your screen where it says share screen and give somebody permission. All right, well, I'll try that. And um, let me get there again. Sorry, I wasn't planning on uh, that, so I don't have that document. Let me see, share screen. Uh, oh, we will just put in the chat oh. that she made Pat a co-host. Yep, yeah, Pat is now a co-host. So if you want to share it, Pat. Okay, great. The world of Zoom. <laughs> no. Oh, I got to move. I have myself on my shoulder. That's not good. Yeah. My good. I think personality I... this, Mark. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sorry, sorry, group, but... I... Margaret, I don't think I think you have the final copy of it. <laughs> yeah, I, I am. Um, I'm looking, and I can't remember if we did this on Google Share. I know I sent it around. I thought I sent you, it around. You did. There yes, you did. You sent it as an attachment. We. I think all right. we all have it. All right. Let me go back to my sent mail then. Yeah. Um, ugh. All right. Let's see. Let me see if I can find it too. That would have been a while ago. So um, I'll say uh, sent to. Oh, it went out as a doc X, which is why I haven't looked at it. And I just today have figured out how to run a doc X through my tablet and be able to print it, but I don't dare touch it with my. Yeah, oh boy, I, I hate holding everything up, but um, where is I, Kayla when we need her? When, no, <laughs> no. Um, when was it Google sent? Doc, I could do it. I'm, I'm gonna see if I can get Mark, Mark, you know, as a, Mark, I'm calling up your name on this. Um, because we don't sure I have the document. Do, do I have the document? It was in an email on. Yeah, what was the date? January 7th. It's an email from Mass Strangalom on January 7th with an attachment. Got it. Got it. January. DEI summary report for the town of Hadley, 2021. Is that it? Just say, I don't know. Yeah. January 3rd, 2022. Okay. I guess here, at least look at it. This is the DEI summary report for the town of Hadley. Yes, that's what it is. Exactly. I've got it. I'm, I'm opening it right now. And Sarah, I'm going to send it to you as a PDF, okay? Thank you. That's so much simpler. I, yeah. So I know that you can easily do that. So I'm going to send that to you right now. The summary okay. report for town of, yeah. January 7, 22. Yeah, the email is from January 7. Pat, was that the last time we met? Was in January? Um, well, you include what you did is you included the comments from this group. Yeah, I, for some reason I just thought it was later, but I am uh, I'm still scrolling down. Looks like a great report. Well, I'm glad everyone's looking at it. Okay. Um, Alert from OneDrive notifications. <laughs> it's, almost, it's already history with uh, Mr. Ed O'Connor. Yeah, right. Not in my inbox yet, but anyway. It's coming, Sarah. Yeah. All 
All right, um, Pat, can you start us off? Because I'm still, um, I'm still. Hi, ma'am. I think everybody has it. Did you? Do you have it too? I just came in the middle of a meeting. I'm, I'm looking. Can I call you later tonight? Yeah, okay. I've got it. All right, okay. let me go back here. Bye. Bye. Okay. Um, so we we incorporated the suggestions from the group into our summary, and um, you can see that that we summarized our conversations with town officials. And then we, we summarized um, the Hadley Learns activities and then the Hadley Council on Aging, although we, we might be able to do better on that, Jane, if you wanna add to that section. And then the Historical Commitment Commission and then the activities um, that we co-sponsored in the, the Hopkins Academy Diversity Club. So, um, this was the team effort in what we have accomplished so far as a group with regard to uh, existing programs, activities, and policies in, in the town. So um, I think, Margaret, you're saying we could still incorporate some more suggestions, additions, and then basically we want to know, you know, where do we go from here? Yeah, and um, when we were Pat and I were discussing, we were trying to figure out how we, um, what, what we should focus on, essentially. Um, I think this is amazing. Uh, I'm really, thank you very much for doing this. This is, this is great. And isn't the idea that we send this to the select board as a report we, of our committee? We did talk about that. Yes, we Wayne, we talked about that because we haven't given a report to right. the select board. So that right. was one of the things we did talk about. Yes. What do you think, Jane? I'm always in favor of being, I haven't, I can't see the report, but I'm always in favor of keeping the select board informed. Whether they read what gets sent to them is another issue, but they can't That's say you're not thing. doing things. Right. Do we need a motion to? Approve this, send it somewhere. Uh, Jane, can you see Thank this? you, I got that. Okay, all right. Pat, can you scroll down? I sure can. So this, you know, the, the um, interviews, the conversations we had as a group with these individuals, um, you know, and then at Margaret, added the link so individuals who wish to see the interview can can actually um, click on the link to the interview um, so those are the the three main interviews we had and and as was mentioned um, mr o'connor is no longer the hr director there's an interim person in that role and um, i know sarah you've been very involved in hadley learns and this information came from their website um, and then people contributed to some edits in this section. Um, I mean, it's very clear, I think, that Hadley Learns really does excellent work, very comprehensive work and um, across all, all issues. Um, and the Council on Aging, also an excellent group and the work of the Historical Commission. Um, it occurs to me, we don't have anything about the library, but the library also does work. We don't have anything specific on the Senior Center. We could add that. Hadley World's Fair and First Nations were co-sponsored events with the CDEI. And then the, ha the Diversity Club at Hopkins has been mentioned repeatedly when we have representatives from Hopkins in attendance at our meeting. So, um, Pat, so can, you, can you scroll back up again? Did we had something on the Council on Aging there? We do, we have okay. um, right there. So for those of you who are interested, Marla Miller is going to be talking on March 4th for the Hadley Learns about slaves in Hadley. Oh, ah. 
specifically on that's our March program. Um, so the Council on Aging is doing a very far reaching um, program called um, Making Hadley an Age and Dementia Friendly Town, which is a lot of work and Haley is doing an incredible job and we're working with Pioneer Valley Planning Commission who's done it before for other towns. And it's, it's amazing pulling the whole thing together and, and watching it happen. I'm very excited for what it will tell us about happening. I've been Excuse to one me, of what, those. Yeah, go ahead. I just wanted to ask what time that uh, lecture will be on March 4th. That's our regular seven o'clock program, Thursday the 4th. Is that Thursday? Yeah, I'm sorry, oh, Thursday Friday. the 3rd. The 3rd, Thursday. The 3rd, okay. Thursday. Thursday. 7 p.m. Probably you need to get a link to sign up and get a link. Yeah. Go to Hadley Learns and, and say you'd like to go. Thank you. Um, all right. So I have a question. Go for it. Um, just because as I was turning to this page in my binder to put things in and start writing notes, um, I have post-it notes that stick out of it, including one about the meeting with Bill Dwyer. And I'm trying to remember, was that something that was our initiative or was that part of the Hadley Learns housing double header that we just sat in on? I'm, I'm not remembering. We, Kayla, we scheduled a meeting with Bill Dwyer. That yeah, was, we scheduled that was it. our committee. Right. Yes. Yeah. So, do we want to include that in our report? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's uh, Pat and I had. Uh, we could not find the minutes to these meet that meeting. Oh, because Kayla was operating a camcorder for later uploading to YouTube. I don't know if that ever happened. Uh, I'm not really sure. Um, I took a lot of notes and then I read the master plan or chunks of the master plan. So I was out of town. So, so that's been the problem. We, we have not been able to pull that, okay. pull that information here. Right. Okay. Uh, if you have something like that, Sarah, do you want to just uh, draft up a, a, a paragraph and send it to me? And I yeah, can let me try to do that. Yeah. That would be great. Really appreciate that. That's the meeting we had at the senior center, right? Yeah, that's right. That was amazingly informative. Yeah. Yeah. And that was with his planning board hat? On, or did he also yep. have yes. his? Um, yes. Did he have his uh, his other hat, the economic development? Uh, he's on that no, committee. Not his really, just board. his planning board hat. And then uh, Molly Keegan was there and brought up the economic development thing. And no. then didn't we have a joint meeting with them as a result of that? I wasn't no, at we were, that meeting. Yeah, we were, we were invited to go to their meeting. Right. And that's the other thing we just didn't have. Um, we didn't have the uh, a report for that either. Right. Well, I think that was just informal. We were just invited to attend right. their meeting. We didn't make a specific. I, I don't think we were asked to report back to the committee on what we heard. I okay. Think we were just invited. That's my understanding. Yep. So our lack of documentation is not for lack of passion or interest. Right. <laughs> um, all right. Well, do people want to do that? Do you want to include um, the like a summary of, of the meeting with Bill Dwyer on zoning? Is that something that you would like included in this summary? at least a line about it because yeah, it does that, yeah that we he did, did it speak to us yeah he did speak yeah. to us yeah i mean mostly it 
I think it raised for us who haven't been part of the planning board process for decades, um, just how complicated housing and especially providing new housing and affordable housing is. Yes. And that, you know, that's a really complicated ball of wax that we do need to tease apart in some new way that, you know, what, what we've been doing isn't working and doing more of same isn't going to work either. But figuring out what to do differently is going to be really complicated and take people who have a lot, who have that kind of depth of knowledge of the issue. It was whew, kind of mind blowing. It would, be, it would be very difficult to make a summary of that talk, but I think you just did it, Sarah. Yeah, I mean, even just that much, just to say it's freaking complicated. That's what it was about. And yeah. that's the essence of it. Yeah, it's very, very complicated, but we do have to grapple with it because yeah, what we're doing isn't working for a lot of people. When Pat and I met, you know, we were trying to figure out, well, okay, so we're just pulling all this stuff together, but where do we go with it? And right. one of the things that, you know, if you wanna talk about diversity and equity and inclusion, we felt that the issue of affordable housing ties all that in together. Right. Um, yep. So uh, that was where we sort of left it was, okay, well, where do we go with that? And how, and how if any, how, what can we do about that? And yeah. I, that's like you say, Sarah, I'm not really sure what our group can do and therefore how we can sort of focus on that, I guess, if, yeah. if you think it is. Yeah, Wayne. I just, I think that's an item for a future meeting. If we say we want to do something about it, then we have to go more in depth as a committee about yeah. the possibilities, how we can help um, and get into that. Um, the lecture was informative and it, it opened my eyes a good bit. I was dizzy by the time I left because there's so much detail, but I think if we want to do something, as I said, I think we need to put it as an item in a meeting and decide what is it that we can do. And it may be as simple as supporting the board or asking the board what we can do, asking that committee what can we do. Uh, but I, I don't, it's something that's going to take some sub substantive discussion on our part to see what, where we fit in that. That's what I think. Yeah. Anyone else? I mean, well, maybe, uh, sorry. Part of the um, age and dementia friendly Hadley has to do with affordable housing, of course. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So that group's also interested and has done some research on that and in the final report we'll have its findings but there are a lot of people in a lot of different places in town that are all coming together on the same thing and I think if somehow we can all find each other and perhaps make sure that we all know about each other's work and what's going on it will be supportive for everybody and it will also give us more clout if you will because all of a sudden, instead of five people on the diversity committee or 12 people on the age friendly committee or 10 people on the Hadley affordable housing, all of a sudden we've become 30 people. And that's, that's a bigger statement. And Can we, we really make all want the same thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wayne? Could we make this an item for our next meeting discussing what we can do in this area and just make a decision or at least open the subject? How can we help? What can we do in this area to, to support the work that we think is necessary? Yeah. Can I suggest that um, we put our heads together and get somebody from a list of the other groups and ask them to each send one representative to that meeting or specifically say 530 to have this discussion. Not make them come to the whole meeting, but 
get everybody on board who's got, you know, skin in the pot. Yeah, that's a great idea. So you're saying um, invite uh, representatives from, from all the different committees right now? Yes, all the people we currently know that are working on it and set a specific time for this discussion rather than say, we're going to meet at 5.15 and we'd love to be there and say, we meet it from 5.15 to 6.30, but at 5.30, we are going to discuss. And we really would like you to be there for that part of our meeting. So they're not committing to the whole meeting. Sure. Yeah, I think that sounds good. Jane? Um, I will you, help with a list. You, I'm sorry? I will help with a list. Thank you. All right. Um, anyone like to take that on, work with Jane about that? Um, oh. Mark, was that you? Yes. You'll, you'll work with Jane on it? Yep. Oh, great. Great. Thank you, Mark. Yeah. Just to clarify, so we're looking we're looking at a, a group of people who are all interested in the idea of um, affordable, accessible housing. Is there a is there a, a concept that we're we're looking to discuss at that meeting? What changes need to be made to have have we have more affordable housing? Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you. And I think it, we always need to be clear about the distinction between um, subsidized and affordable. That's right. Do you want to put accessible in there as well or just, just affordable? Accessible is always important. And if it's new, by definition, it has to be accessible. So the building codes require it. And there's, a, there's a affordable with a capital A, which is what the state qualifies it as. And then there's affordable with a lowercase a, which is what's reasonably, you know, we hear that a lot that, you know, I've lived here all my life and I want to downsize, but I can't afford to. Right. I can't, I can't buy property in my own town. I, I don't know how much that's in our control, but. That's part of the issue, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it has to do with all the, you know, young people also who can't, you know, who grew up here and yeah. can't afford to come back. That's um, a nationwide problem. Oh, yeah. Yep. It is. It certainly is. All right. Okay, so... Um, all right, Mark, you'll work with Jane on the list and get that list to Pat. Um, or actually, I guess to Kayla or I, so that we can then um, put that in the coming uh, uh, for the next month's uh, meeting. Okay. That'd be great. Thank you. Yeah. Um, okay. Actually, Mark and Wayne, update on a draft questionnaire for reporting and resolving allegations of discriminatory behavior. I think we're close to starting on that. Yep. I'm sorry? We're, uh, we're fixing to begin to think about starting, starting. to think about it. <laughs> In other words, we haven't done what we supposedly were going to do. Okay. All righty. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. We, we resolved to do something before the next meeting. Is that right, yeah. Mark? Okay. Well, yeah, since I just threw my hat in for something else, I better get this moving. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. Well, new business. Um, so the Stolen Beam Series. Um, stolen Beam Series. Uh, does anyone know anything about that? I'm not sure if it went out. Okay. So the Stolen Bean Series was put together by several members of the Jewish community of Amherst. And um, 
is actually put together by Devorah Jacobson, who you know, who's been on this committee in the past, and Jeff Gold. And they put together a series of five, I think they're now expanding it to maybe six um, sessions where uh, um, they look at the whole concept of um, reparations and um, and the history of race relations in this country. Um, they are going to be presenting it at the Amherst Library. They presented it, by the way. It's gone. It's going national. Their their uh, their uh, their piece on this. Um, it, it's been taken up by Evanston, Illinois, um, who you might know has also been in the forefront of reparations um, in their city. Um, it's being taken up by other synagogues and churches in the region. Um, uh, some places in Boston have taken it up. Um, and um, I'm trying to think who's the name of the woman uh, in Amherst, M Michelle Martin, uh, the one who is doing the reparations uh, in Amherst. Follow what, that. what is the date and time of that presentation? No, there is no date and time. She had approached Hadley Library about offering the, you know, offering to do the, um, do the, you know, do the presentations. Well, it's uh, basically four or five sessions. Like, as I said, I don't remember the exact number. Um, and Hadley Library uh, sent it over to us thinking that we would be a good um, uh, avenue for this. Um, but, you know, I think our role should be in sponsoring it maybe through uh, through the library, because I know the library has done some amazing stuff. Um, you know, and if we could, I was actually thinking that this might really work best in um, uh, Hadley Learns, because this is something that, you know, has been, um, uh, you know, touched on in many ways by Hadley Learns, and it seems like it would really be able to fill it out. So I, 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 so what I'm asking is, um, first of all, how many people uh, think this is a good idea uh, and uh, to have DEI sponsor it, but, but have it at a, at a venue, like maybe the library yeah. uh, or Hadley, through Hadley Learns. Or the senior center could hold the venue issue. Yeah. Yeah. Um, again, had we learned to talk about reparations last month, last week that was, um, and how the state of Massachusetts has said that Amherst can't use the money the way they had voted to do it, which is unfortunate. But having a little bit of knowledge about budgets and towns, I know where they're coming from. I think they could have gotten around it, but yeah. I didn't hear that, Jane. So in other words, are you saying that, I mean, I hadn't heard that about Amherst not being able to use the money that they, the way they wanted to. They can't use, what do they call it? They can't use- uh, Is it the marijuana money? They can't use uh, stabilization. They can't use the free cash fund to fund other groups or things. Free cash is only to pay budget expenses. If they had managed to somehow get a budget line or something else, they may have been able to get around it. There was an article. I will try and find it and email it to you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I, you know, this, this is a, I actually took the course months ago. Um, and, you know, the, the, the common theme for everyone was, um, how come I never heard this history before? You know, people people just didn't know, you know, about federal laws that had um, helped to perpetuate redlining, and you know, um, um, you know how um, the GI Bill really didn't apply to um, black GIs. And but uh, 
there's a program on tonight on PBS on that very subject. I heard about it on NPR this morning. Oh, don't know what time. Hang on, maybe Diane remembers. I'm going to holler. Can we sponsor something? Well, that's what um, that's what we're talking about right now. Can we? You know, who would we sponsor it with? We don't have any budget to sort of uh, do promotions, but um, how much would it cost? To, to sponsor it, including the promotions? Uh, no, I mean, and we don't have to pay anyone to teach it because uh, Devora and her team would be responsible for doing the presentation. But, but we would but, need to uh, work with another, um, you know, preferably uh, three committees or wh whoever would, you know, be willing to um, disseminate the material. Well, not the material because you're not going to get that until you you're actually part of it. But I mean to promote it, uh, the stolen bee um, right. series. So 10 p.m. tonight on PBS Independent Lens. Thank you, Jane. I, I have to go, but I would be willing to work with somebody on making a plan to promote this in the community. Okay. I, think I, I, I would need to work with somebody else. I don't think I can do it by myself, but I'd be happy to talk with somebody informally and present something to this committee about how, how we could help this happen. Okay. Sarah, since you're sort of like really involved with um, um, Hadley Learns, would you be willing to um, to work with Wayne on that? Uh, I'm a little hesitant to take anything on this month just because this is winding up being a much busier month than I thought it would be. <laughs> um, and I, you know, as I was reading the minutes before this meeting, I realized there was an action item that I didn't do. Um, and I also missed the Hadley Learns on reparations uh, last week. So um, I'm, oh, maybe that's a way to get caught up on it. I don't know. Um, I'm a little hesitant to take it on okay. right now. Okay. Uh, well, I'll, I'll do my best to at least lay out the issues and find out something about it. Um, I'll find out a little bit more from Devorah regarding uh, whatever information she sent to um, um, the library, Hadley Library. Um, and, you know, I know, I th I'm not sure, but I think she might have even reached out to Yumera a while ago, but I'm not sure she ever heard back. Um, so well, if you could just copy me with that. Yeah. And then as I understand it, I'm going to find try to find some other group in Hadley to co-sponsor. Right. A presentation. Right. Is yeah. that and, and I I'm, think, you know, I think if we could do something um, as again, as I said, through Hadley Learns, that's sort of like to me the perfect uh, uh, perfect relationship. Yeah. Jane, I'll probably come knocking at your door for help on how to do this. You know how to find me. Okay. okay. All, right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, right. I have to go, folks. Thank you, Wayne, for, for joining us. All right. All right. See you next time. Yep. Margaret, are we losing quorum now? Oh. Um, yeah. No, I don't think so, are we? Two, three, four, five. I'm not a voting five. member. Right, so, far. okay, so. Uh, How many members are there, nine? Um, it's like eight or nine members, so I think we need five. Oh boy. Yeah, and oh boy, it, right, because the reason I say that is because, um, let me find that list. Oh, please. Kayla's logged in, but she's not. No, Kayla's not available. Okay. And Joanne's not available, and if Wayne okay. goes, and it's and that's it. That's just yeah. us, and so that may, would make one. So we need two. to vote to adjourn the meeting then. Yeah. So probably. is is that is that going to keep you from doing something we really need to do this evening? Uh, well, we've kind of touched on the new business and other ideas for committee sponsorship. That was part of it. Um, uh, and then any other open issues, which. Does anyone have?
Well, I can stay for a few minutes if there's something that needs to be done officially that I'm needed for. Um, can't do it long, but. Um, right. Um, open agenda and then the next meeting date and adjournment. That's it. Yep. That's it. So open agenda, anyone, anything that they want to bring up? Okay. Um, then the next meeting date is March 7th. And then we'll take a motion to adjourn. I would so move. Okay. Second. All right, Wayne. Um, all those in favor? Aye. All right. Okay. Well, thank you, folks. Appreciate your time. Thank you.